talk more about the annual Great California Shakeout event is Chris Nance from the California Earthquake Authority. Chris, good to see you. How are you? Doing real well, thank you. So let's talk about the likelihood. A lot of us remember the Northridge earthquake back in 1994. That was a 6.7 quake. There was another one recently in 2010. What's the likelihood we're going to see another big earthquake? Scientists say there's a 99% chance for a 6.7 magnitude earthquake or greater mm -hmm. to strike somewhere in California in the next 30 years. How vulnerable are we here in the San Diego area? I know there's some fault lines near us. San Diego has faults, active faults, like most areas throughout the state. The Rose Canyon Fault, for example, runs beneath the downtown San Diego area. All right, so it sounds like one's coming. Obviously, there's not a lot of warning with these earthquakes. What do people need to do to prepare for it? Preparing comes in a number of different forms. There are easy things you can do, such as pulling a kit together, having a first aid kit, having food supplies. If you have pets, remember, you need to have supplies for them, too. Mm -hmm. Plenty of water. Have a family plan. If you're not together when the ground shakes, have a plan for where you can meet, how you can get yourselves back together. And also have a conversation with your insurance agent. Uh, earthquake damage can be very expensive. If you sure. don't have a separate insurance policy, then you're on your own to cover those costs. We also hear oftentimes that people think the government will uh, fly in with money to help people rebuild, and that's not the case. Uh, you're on your own pretty much, or at least are planned on that your own. way. That's correct. I know sometimes these big screen TVs can fall off in earthquakes and um, uh, bookshelves can fall down. I know sometimes they sell these straps. You can strap them to the wall, things like that as far as preparation, too. That's right. An important part of preparation is strapping your TV, your bookshelves, uh, clasps for inside your cabinets. Uh, and then most importantly, when the ground is shaking, what to do. Yes, tell us. And uh, what not to do, most, uh, which is of great importance too is don't run for the door instead drop to the floor if you're uh, if the ground's shaking it's likely gonna throw you to the floor anyway mm -hmm. crawl under a table if one's close by hold on to a table leg put one arm over your head the other holding onto the table and just hold on until the shaking stops then calmly leave the building where you're located uh, to a safer place I used to always hear try to get in a doorway is that a good idea no that that's uh, uh, first of all, you, you need to drop to the floor first. Mm -hmm. That's an old myth yeah. that, thanks to you, we're helping to debunk here. Okay. Uh, instead, drop to the floor, get under a table or next to an inside wall, cover your head and Is hold the on. likelihood of injury during an earthquake more that something's going to fall on you, a piece of furniture or something like that, versus you're just going to kind of collapse through the floor down onto the floor below you? Earthquakes don't hurt people, things falling do. I see. Now, homes built before 1980 are more, vu more vulnerable to shake damage, so if you're in an older building, uh, damage is more likely. Uh, being in new newer buildings, of course, is better, but in a studio like this with plenty of things to fall, if sure. the ground shakes, we're going to look to cover from these things falling, most importantly. So, Chris, we've talked about how to prepare when it does come, what to happen when it hits, what do you do after it's hit? How do you recover from something like this? Regather re with your friends and loved ones. Yeah. Uh, help folks deal with the, um, the immediacy of the moment and then call your insurance company to file a claim. Hopefully you have an insurance policy. Uh, there's, what, 20% take up for earthquake insurance here mm -hmm. in the San Diego area. Uh, company, organizations like the California Earthquake Authority are going to be there to help those folks file the claim. Make sure you have pictures of all of your uh, contents in your sure, house. Sure, that's a good idea. It makes it easier for your insurance company to help you um, file the, uh, the claim. Okay. I'd even take a little video. Maybe that's faster. Chris Nass, thanks for the great tips.